Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts. We're doing another Let's Talk Gaming. I thought I'd talk about a subject that been, some people have been bringing it up to me and wonder my opinion about it. And that, that is the rumor of the new Nintendo NX being cartridge based. Now I have seen a lot of people asking me a lot of questions about this and, and also um, uh, what my take is and w is it a good idea for play, uh, Nintendo to go cartridge based. And before I even start about my opinion on it and everything like that, is I want to point out that it's kind of going back to the original formula. We're going like repeating history almost. Uh, basically, um, we're going back to the original cartridge, of course, back to the original NES, named this size, named huge name thing. But a lot of people have got to understand that cartridges don't are not like this. Is what a lot of people is probably getting in their minds is when they think of cartridges. They think of these huge things here and have to put it back into your console playing it, but Cartridges are no longer this big. I'm sure you all are aware of that. Is that now they become through these itty bitty little cards, SD cards. I mean, here's the PlayStation Vita card, and look at this itty bitty little thing, right here. This is a cartridge. It's it's no different than an NES cartridge. It has the board and the data and the information stored onto the cartridge, and you just plug it in. It even has the pins, just like a, a NES cartridge has at the bottom of it. It has the for the brass pins that plug into the game and boots up the game off the card. So to say that they, that cartridges would cost more in production is kind of name or just not in the same production form as original NES is nowhere in the same vein. And the, the sheer amount of sizes that can be stored on these lanes is unbelievable. I mean look at this itty bitty little thing. This is off my PlayStation PSP and it's just itty bitty little 8 gigabit cartridge and they had even 16 32 gigabytes. Than of these itty bitty little things, and to say that this cannot be attained into a normal game and the what we have get nowadays is ridiculous to think that. Well, the thing is, is that if they're on SD SD cards, we would get much faster load times because no longer has to read the coding off the the disc. It's already all pre-rendered or pretty much all set on there on the card. So you just plug it in and just immediately reads off right off that and plug goes. It's like hooking up a U, uh, a USB to a 3.0 USB port. You plug it in, it instantly reads it much faster than have the, the eye to find all the coding on the on the disc. It would work a lot better. On top of that, if they do it a certain way, you can even store information on an, on these SD cards or say a game cartridge or something like that. Which that would be great for collectors like me, physical collectors and stuff like that. Because that way if you bought, like I say, get updates in DLC or something like that, you could actually save those information onto the SD cartridge. Not only would that mean you would have a, a, a timeless, you, when you bought it, it would be timeless on your card because now you bought it and you have a physical copy. It's always on your cartridge because you paid for it and you would just install it on the cartridge. That that would be a selling point to me right there. That'd be like saying, now I'm more comfortable with spending uh, my money on digital goods because now I can put that digital goods onto a physical format without uh, doing some hacking or anything like that or illegal means or anything in form like that. It's all pre-set up. And that's if Nintendo does it like that. The thing is, is that it could all work out pretty well. The thing I fear the most is just overall cost. A lot of people would name would say that name, yeah, they don't cost as much because they're eighty B little cartridges and name it would just be work out a lot better. But you gotta remember like remember like the PlayStation Vita trying to sell their expensive cartridges name for the memory storage and people would say that's just PlayStation Vita uh, Sony trying to be doing a rip off and some degrees, yes, I agree, but name, Sony's saying that they have to sell it at a certain price and it hasn't even gotten really a price drop. There's a reason why it's staying so expensive, is that they have to develop these and make sure they're not hackable. That is the main core reason, I believe, is that that you got to avoid that these games being able to emulate or taking the information and transfer it onto PC. Because, as we all know, emulating is illegal. They, as much as PC gamers want to sit there and say that their PC can do all this stuff, most of the stuff they say they can do, with gaming anyway, is illegal. The backwards compatibility and all that. You're not supposed to be able to do that, Nain, as much as they want to brag about it. But that's a, but I digress. That's the reason why they have to do all these protective things. So, like I said, is it a bad thing? I don't see how it could be a bad thing, because that just means we're getting more physical copies. And also, we cannot deny that these cartridges are a lot more durable than a disc. As long as you don't abuse and misuse them, they, they last. I mean, look at this. This NES cartridge still works. I still play it. 
fun game. I mean, it, you can drop these car little bitty cartridges and they'll still work as long as you don't I mean, get ridiculous with them. But that's any product. And they'll last. I mean, so, am I against it? No. Why would I have anything against it? The only thing it would be a problem is, is that it, won't, it would make it not work backwards compatible with the play, uh, Nintendo Wii U. Because I mean, that's off of disc. And the more reason I believe this is true is that Nintendo has always been kind of the absent of the media format because they didn't introduce like they don't have DVD player and they don't have a CD player they don't even have Blu-ray on the Wii U or anything like that so to them I can see them actually going to media uh, physical format because they've always done something different with their physical copies you've got to remember they stuck with the cartridges on the N64 when the GameCube came out they stuck with um uh, the little bitty, little bitty little discs, so they would stay different on that format. And then when we, uh, we came out, they didn't have HD support, so they, they're always doing something different in that format. So, am I opposed to it? No, I don't know why anybody would, because that we're still getting physical copies. It's just not going to be backwards compatible. Would it be better? Would it work out better for gaming? I have no way to say yes or no on that. But only only reason is cost because like I said they have to prevent a way to prevent stealing and stealing and posting the ROMs online. So I mean I would like to hear your guys' point of view about I mean, what you think about about this. I believe it's going to be true because I, mean, I heard rumors that the Inu Antiax can be some more like a kind of like a pick up and go console, like a handheld console. So cartridges would look up work a lot better in that format because that means you can just take the card and like plug it into the console then plug it out and then take the controller which I think the controller is going to be the, the handheld and you plug it into the controller it just work out a lot better and design that way because that would be more durable because you'd be taking it outside or going wherever you're going so opinions thoughts I would love to hear them I'd love to see what you guys got to say I'm I'm not nay or yay or any of it I mean, to me it's just Nintendo being Nintendo I mean, hopefully it works out good I mean, most time they do something weird and different like this does not turn out good so I'm eager to see how it's gonna turn out and frankly I would like to actually see them go cartridge just because I want to see how it works because then as much as we like this disc, disc it'd be nice if we go to a little bit something smaller because then we can't deny this would be a lot easier to store a little Vita, Vita case name store on this little bitty shelf than these big long boxes so it'd be interesting to see and I would love to hear your guys thought on it I we have to just wait for the future on it. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to see more episodes from me, then hit that like and subscribe button. I hope to do more of these kind of let's talks and just more things about gaming. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye! You know that game you borrowed a while ago? Mm -hmm. I need it back because someone else wants to play it now. Is that someone Shorty McBlue hair? Yep. Actually, I loaned a couple games to her, too. I should probably get those back. Here's something else, Hiragi. You know that? What do you mean? I think it's cool you remember that stuff. The other day, I found some games I borrowed from someone, but now I can't remember who it was. You're kidding. And there's a couple of games I loaned out, but I can't remember who's got them. Sounds pretty careless. Nuh-uh! It's a universal truth. In fact, they call it the law of forgetting the lender or something. You made that up.